Greetings. This is Fat Marrow, as uh, my parents call me. No, Matt. Anyway, hello. I am about to do a little deathmatch mission, a variant mission in storage facility, and I thought I would share my workflow in case you're curious how to do it, if you haven't seen it done before, uh, or in case, oh, I don't know. Uh, but let's get on with it. So I have loaded up the terrorist hunt um, for storage facility, Operation Deadly Fist, that, uh, that's very much my vibe. Um, so, I want to make a deathmatch which is limited to the cavern area there, which will be a very small playing area, but um, there seems to have been a lot of um, interest in the smaller deathmatch variants, I guess for smaller player counts on servers, so up to four players probably for this. So let's get started. I am running the dev build, which means that some things might be a little bit different, but uh, generally this is how it will work for you. So I'm going to the console, uh, tilde key or F7 or keypad star, edit mission. And here we are. So this is the terrorist hunt. Um, let's now... You have to be in Lone Wolf to do the editing. I'm now going to load up the deathmatch, the general deathmatch, and there we are, it's all loaded. Some things, if you load levels in succession you get some of the numbering goes a bit funny, but there's not much in a deathmatch level, so let's do that. It's gone a bit slow for some reason, probably because I'm streaming at the same time. Um, so I'm just moving around until I find, until I get my bearings. I'm going to delete all the current deathmatch stuff. Um, <coughs> all the player starts. I think I just need to start again with that. And so they're all gone. Now with the AI aspect of deathmatch, there's two components. One is the spawns. These are sort of placeholder spawns. The position is arbitrary, but what this does is it sets up the loadouts. So. M4s basically with MP5s, LMG, oof. But those will be fine in the tunnels if a little challenging at times. Um, set them all to guard, uh, have them priority one, I think that doesn't matter. Um, and they have to be different squad IDs and team ID 100. But that's all set up for the previous deathmatch level. Um, then guard points, I've set up a few groups of guard points. Um, so when an AI spawns it goes to the nearest set, so I've just kept them separate. This is the whole map, um, but I'm going to get rid of the ones outside. And I think I already have these back tunnel ones are in the area that I want. Let's have a little look. Okay, that's not quite what I wanted, so they can go. Um, the tunnels... Okay, so basically um, I want to keep everything there, but I want to lose those. I'll have to do it manually. Um, I might just start again. So all we have are the virtual spawn points. I'm just going to drop down the guard points now while I've got it in mind. and. The only thing to do really is to set the whole time. Oh, it's already um, pretty low. So normally that's higher, I think. Um, these are just kind of like crude um, pathing. So when the bots are in guard mode, they run between, <coughs> pardon me, all of the guard points. So this is what creates the AI movement, ironically, with guard. Um, so they may not path properly to all of these, but let's give it a go. Um, yeah. These are relatively dense because there's not much of a play area. I don't know how well they're going to path up through the narrow staircase, but we'll give it a go. Here. Maybe 
one down here. Ah, uh, no, that'll do. So, yeah, that's basically it. I'll need to block off the rest of it. Got a few options, <coughs> pardon me, because of the irregular sort of setup here. I think I'll just use this kind of thing. Now, one difference in the dev build is that the placement is more difficult um, for reasons I do not understand. Uh, copy and paste is a little bit wonky, but it does work for these things. And there's some quirks. This may not be in the, the normal build, but in the dev build you have to select things lots of times to actually get them to do what you want. Come on. Yeah, so that doesn't work in the main build. That's less fussy, but it's very fussy in this one for some reason. I'm going to change that to... I think somewhere there's a different... Nice ones, just for a little bit of variety. And let's rotate it a little bit for variety. And I need one more. Alright, well that's not very exciting, but it'll work. And I need to just make sure it can't be exploited. Let me just pop that back a bit. I'm going to pop down a block. And just make sure it goes where it needs to go. Still not quite enough. Alright, that ain't pretty, but it'll do. Need to add some in there as well. <coughs> Shoo. Now this isn't as nice as placing things in the editor, the proper editor, but uh, but it'll do. And I might change that one to that one. So. We have our level boundaries, I've got to make that even more guaranteed to work. And before I do anything further, I'm going to save this file name. So, deathmatch, I think we call these whoop, the storage cavern. That'll get replaced with underscores. And the variant name is storage cavern and let's see that's above ground that's below ground so I'm just going to make sure we only use the thumbnail picture for the underground it's all set up for PvP and yes we'll save that one so that's now storage facility storage cavern deathmatch whatever dot mission and all we need to do now is to put down the player stats so deathmatch is relatively easy to set up uh, what you want is for the player starts to not be visible from other player starts. That's going to be a bit limiting here. Uh, try and get them facing an interesting direction. Um, yeah, uh, they can be the default two five five team, no groups. Um, while I remember, I will 
for the guard points. Give them a better name. Hold time is correct. Scan duration, right. Um, this we want to be like one second. Because that means they won't stay at the guard points, they'll move to the next one. So the whole time I can't remember what that was, but that's it's the scan duration. Here's the one we want to change. Um, the movement radius isn't yet implemented, but we want that to be something like 30 meters. Because if that gets fixed, they'll stay near where they are. Um, yeah, so player starts. Uh, this one's a tough one. Let's put them there. It's a little bit visible from down there, but not quite. Maybe move you a little over there. I can also add more props to block the view. Yeah. So let's do something about that. This is a bit of overkill, but what can you do? Let's make that a better. Uh, a better thing. Yeah, so you won't have this problem with finding the drag points in the normal editor. And home drops down to the floor, but doesn't always work. I think there's some kind of blocking thing there. Alright, I may not have quite got it right, but um, that does look a bit weird. Let's scale that down. So there we go, that guy is blocked from there. Fairly blocked from there. Uh, it's not ideal, but let's put on there. There's not going to be a huge number of spawn points. You want more spawn points than you have players to give it a chance to put people in exciting places that are safe. Um, this one I'll put here. I mean, once the game is going, people can spawn in front of other people, but this just minimizes the likelihood of that. Oh, I'm dropping AI spawn points. Oh, I've been doing that. Silly me. Need to go back and fix that. Yeah, don't do that. Player starts we want. I think that's a more interesting direction. Yeah, you're alright. You're not alright. That'll do. And I'll have one down here. a bit exposed but I like a bit of variety. It's a bit too cramped. Mm. That is exposed. But I think we need something around there. Make sure we're not clipping into wall. Again, could be exposed. But I'll take a chance.
do. Let's see. I did put one around here, didn't I? Let's put one in this room. And that would be, looks like, 17 player starts, which, you know, if you've got a player load of 16, that's going to be crazy, but uh, if you're playing with that many people on this map, you get all you deserve, frankly. I'll put a few more, though, just for variety. So, 20 player starts, or thereabouts. Gonna save it. In fact, gonna validate level. No problems detected, always validate level. So, um, that should work. Let's give it a go. So I'm gonna exit. Now, it probably won't work. It's probably usually best to go to the main menu and then start your proper game mode. This time going to host game, deathmatch, storage facility. We've now got this extra one here, storage cabin. Uh, hopefully this won't take too long to load. We've now got our variant name there. And let's jump in and give it a go. So let's have six players, which will fill in with AI players. Click to deploy. And I don't know if you can hear the sound. Yeah, well, the bots are getting on with it. Anyway, so there we go. So we have our fully working, hopefully, deathmatch level. And you will see this in the next patch. A little bit of bonus content. There we go. I still suck at PvP. Thank you for watching.